Hey guys. Here's an update of the 10 gallon reef tank again. Um, it's been a long time since I put up a, a video of the tank and I wanted to show you some the changes and uh, some of the new additions I got. Well let's start with this guy. My wife and I just picked up a brand new baby disc coral um, a few days ago. Um, those, of, those of you who have been following these videos, um, you know that we had a big one, but it died this past, um, around in fall when the heater broke. And he was really big and he grew really, really, really fast. Um, because when we, when we bought our first one, here's the skeleton again. And as you can see, the skeleton's this big, but when he would expand during the day, he was about that big, and I'm not exaggerating. So uh, he's got a tiny skeleton, so we're really excited to have him. He's a little brighter, more green um, than the old one, but we're just really happy and excited to have one again, because it's been a long time. Um, the frog spawn, well, my zinnias, first let me get there first. Uh, my zinnias are looking good again, they're starting to pulse again. Um, I'll admit, I did something that you shouldn't. Um, I got a little lazy with checking my salinity whenever I did water changes. I just did a little under half a cup because the salt that I used the last time, it was... I almost killed everything because my salinity, long time ago, like well over a year, maybe even almost two years ago, um, it was 1.033. That's really, really salty. But uh, for a while now, the whole tank hasn't been doing that great. I want to say, yeah, it hasn't been doing the best. Some things are still growing, but a lot of things weren't. And I found that my salinity <clears throat> was at 1.020, which is pretty low. So now, um, since I have it, I've had this for a long time. Um, this is a great product. I've had it for a long time, but yeah, I'll admit I got lazy and I just didn't check my salinity, but now I check it all the time. And now it's exactly at 1.025, and it has been for a couple weeks now. And that's, that's amazing. You just don't be lazy. I'm never going to do that again. I'm always going to check it because the frog spawn for the longest time was so small, um, both of them. And now they're both just huge and growing. They, they're looking like they used to when I bought them. By the way, this and this frog spawn were one. I, I fragged them a long time ago. But... Uh, but just look at how healthy he is. I mean, and I feel stupid because that's all you have to do is just not be lazy and just check your salinity. But, you know, it happens. It could be worse. But I've learned my lesson, and luckily I didn't lose anything from it. Uh, let's see, here's the Rocka Zoos, and, uh, or the Rocka Mushrooms. And uh, the mushrooms, too, they weren't doing that great. Now they're 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 looking great now. They're, they're, they're getting big again, and... Uh, the zoanthids, they too, they were all getting small and they looked like crap, weren't doing a thing. Staghorn uh, is starting to grow again. If you can see, I can't focus. But if you see some of those white tips, or whitish, more white, uh, those are new growth tips. The, di the Montipora digitata, this guy, even when the salinity was down, uh, he's been growing. But ever since it's been up for the past, I think, three weeks now, he's been taken off. Just growing like nuts, which is great. I love it. Um, the candy cane, that too. Um, that one head split into three heads. Then this one right here is splitting into two. That one is on its way of making another mouth for two. And that one I believe is splitting into two. And uh, I just, I don't know, I, I love the candy cane corals. I mean, I love so many other corals. Um, but that candy cane, I don't know why, I just, I really like it. Um, for me, I, I, I used to feed him, but then he would always kind of look weird. Like, he's kind of skinny now. Um, and then I stopped feeding him for months, and he was always bloated and looked great. And then, um, just about, last time I, then I stopped feeding, oh, I stopped feeding him. And then about three weeks ago, I, I picked up feeding him again. And I think I'm going to stop again just because I think they might do better when you don't feed them. I don't know. 
Um, so, yeah, we'll see. I'll probably just let him be a little bit uh, again. Um, this rock of green polyps, man, have these guys exploded. Ah, uh, there's like 40 some there. I had like five to begin with. And they've all just exploded recently, like in the past month or two. That's all been happening. Here's the other uh, frog spawn coral. And my rock with the two feather dusters. And that little cluster forest. Um, I got rid of my big rock, if you guys recognize. I got rid of my big rock. Almost all my star polyps are gone. I got rid of that big rock star polyp. Sorry, I'm a little tired. Um, that's all the star polyps I have left. Um, and those guys on the wall. They didn't die off. <clears throat> I just didn't want them anymore. I mean, I had so many. They took up one whole side of the tank. I like them. Oh, wait. there's I have some more right there, too. I like them. I just don't like them that much. They have them everywhere. Um, so I got rid of them. And if you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but I did buy... You can see his leg... Right, right in that rock, right there. I bought an emerald crab a couple of weeks ago. But uh, the tank's doing really good. Really, really good. It's really nice to see everything so bloated the way it should again. I can't get over that frog spawn. And the pulsing zinnias. They're a little tight right now, I'm not pulsing too much, but they pulse. They pulse better than that, generally. Uh, the clowns are doing great. I'm um, looking forward to uh, this guy growing. I might actually uh, document his growth now, maybe weekly. Because uh, when I had my old one, <clears throat> I fed him a piece of shrimp every week. Like table shrimp, the shrimp that you eat, you and I eat. I fed him a little piece of that every week, and he exploded in growth. Um, so... I probably should document this one of the size of him right now so you guys know so but that's it for now thanks for watching and I'll try to keep more updates up when I find the time I found time today so I decided to do one so thanks for being patient guys and feel free to ask any questions I'll try to help you to the best of my knowledge so take care